Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Delray Fitness, the YouTube page dedicated to everything fitness related, whether it's gym equipment, workouts, or in today's case, supplements. I am super stoked to talk about today's supplement. It is probably the coolest thing that I've gotten since 2020. Definitely the most exciting thing that I've gotten in the past uh, six months that I want to talk to you guys about. Bring it to your home, and it is Boba Tea Protein. This thing is honestly, I don't know where to begin. First of all, uh, I got to chat it up with Neil through Instagram, kind of just found their page. Um, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I want to explore it, see what the flavors are like, see if I even want to talk about it. Long story short, uh, Neil is a very cool dude. He sent me a little care package, two sugar bottles. He gave us three bags of protein, different flavors, and he also hooked it up with two bags of reusable boba straws with the cleaners. And the reason he gave two is because he also had a nice little note in there that said, hey, congrats on the engagement, which is really sweet of him. You know, looked on my page, found out that I was newly engaged, and he also just sent stuff not only for myself, but my fiance. Um, I think it's a lot of quality in a company when they are very thoughtful like that. So thoughtful that you can definitely see it in their products. Right here we have boba tea protein. This is gonna be the classic milk tea that I'm gonna talk about first. Uh, first and foremost, everything is verified grass-fed whey protein powder. If I'm gonna ingest something, if I'm gonna put something in my body, I wanna make sure that it's quality product and this definitely isn't processed. It is very thoroughly made. Um, everything about it is just awesome. First, I'm gonna get into the macros. Uh, the fat content is 4.5 grams of fat, carbohydrates, six grams, and protein is a whopping 25 grams. Mind you, it's also zero grams of sugar, and specifically with the classic milk tea, I don't know how they did it. It has, I personally am like really into my macros right now, so it's advised that you get oat milk or some type of creamer into it. I personally just do the water and the boba protein. Um, and it tastes like it has creamer in it. It's very odd. You could definitely uh, get that, that tea, that black tea flavor with a little bit of cream in there, and it doesn't taste, um, it doesn't taste like synthetic or fake. I think I actually want to probably do like a blind taste test with some other boba products, like some other places that actually serve boba instead of the protein powder because I honestly can't even tell the difference. I think it's amazing. Um, I look forward to this every day. You know, it's like, oh, protein powder, cool, like protein, I'm gonna like have something really cool. And you get weird flavors like mint and chip, you're gonna get like your chocolate peanut butters and they taste a little bit fake. I honestly want to vouch and say this does not taste Fake it all, it is 100% classic milk tea as far as I'm concerned. All right guys, so this next one is taro milk tea. And this is very close to my heart because Filipinos, we have this dish called halo halo, which is like an ube ice cream dessert that we have. And this taro milk tea, it's actually very reminiscent of that because I find that if you put 12 ounces of water in it, it's a little more watery than it should be, but it kind of has that ube ice cream with a little melted ice vibe, which I love a lot. When you get to the end of your holo holo, it's kind of melted and it tastes exactly like this. So all my Filipino fam out there, if you know what I'm talking about, the end of your holo holo cup, you know exactly what this tastes like. Let's get into the macros. Total fat, 2.5 grams. Carbs, another six grams. Protein, 23 grams of protein. And yet again, zero grams of sugar, which is super awesome. Um, I tried this with my oatmeal today. It was pretty awesome, but for the most part, I just look forward to drinking it with a little bit of ice and a little bit of water. Shake it up. I still haven't done the creamer thing because I want to keep the macros as true as the back of these nutrition facts say. At the end of the day, it's honestly like a very solid flavor profile. These two have to probably be my favorite so far. One, because this is a very high school vibe, and two, this brings me back to my childhood, um, just drinking Hala Hala with my family. All right, guys, the one I want to talk about right now is the matcha latte protein powder. This guy is super dope. What makes it stand out from the other two flavors is that it has a probiotic and prebiotic blend. So the prebiotic blend is inulin, I think I'm saying that right, inulin, inulin, and it's a prebiotic from chicory root. There's a thousand milligrams of that, and there's a probiotic bend also in this, 400 milligrams. Specifically, I take a green shake every morning, and it kind of just tastes like earthy green stuff, and it's not very good. This also includes an organic green blend that has 2,000 milligrams mixed of organic kale, 
organic broccoli, organic spinach. So for you guys who are also trying to get more of an earthy tone with your matcha, not something as sweet as the taro and milk tea, this is it right here because it also includes your prebiotic and probiotic and your greens. Not only that, let's get into the macros. The total fat is 3.5 grams, total carbs is 6 grams, and the protein is back to a whopping 25 grams. Um, so yeah, the only thing I can say about this is that it has that earthy matcha vibe uh, in comparison to the taro and the milk tea that are sweeter, they kind of taste like desserts, so naturally we are inclined to go towards that. If you, want, if you are that person who likes your coffee black or you like your matcha, just a little bitterness, this is the go-to blend for you, especially if you're trying to up your greens intake. So that's basically it guys, uh, top three things I want to say about boba tea protein. One, Neil's an awesome dude, um, I don't know if I would be wanting to put out a video uh, just based off the characteristics of the company, but that's definitely why I'm pushing it because I believe in his company, I believe in his brand. More so, I believe in his product, so that leads me to point number two, all these flavors are solid. I think it has a little bit of something for everyone if you just like your normal classic milk tea. If you like something sweeter, more desserty, and if you like something more earthy, they have that. In addition, um, all the macros are very good for you for all you health conscious people who are trying to be more fit and really watch your intake. This is a perfect substitute to get your boba fix without having to load up on all those sugars and creamers. Um, lastly, I think they should do a good job taking care of their customers, so I don't know how much of these they're going to send out, um, what they have moving forward. But I just see boba tea protein being around for a long time because of how characteristic and quality not only is the company and the owner, but also their products. The last two things that I do want to say that I think could make this product a little better is just addressing the tapioca pearls and those macros. I'm not sure if it's included in the nutrition facts on the bag or not. So if someone wants to add them, how many calories is that going to be? And if someone wants to take them away, does that affect the nutrition facts or not? Uh, secondly, I want to address the fact that all of these bags come with the same size scooper. It's a pretty big size scooper. However, they have different serving sizes. For instance, the matcha latte is 43.1 gram servings per serving. The taro milk is 43.6 grams per serving. And the classic milk tea is 42.1 grams per serving. However, when I first started Taking this product, I was super excited, didn't really have my scale, and I was throwing a full-on scoop in there. That is a hefty scoop. Now that I use my scale and I pull it out, one single scoop is about 52 grams in that whole scoop. So I'm kind of overshooting it by 10 grams, and if I really want to make these servings last for the full 25, I think it's something to note that you should have a scale and definitely weigh it out beforehand. Don't just start throwing it in there because one, it's going to mess up your macros and your nutrition. Two, you're also going to get less servings and this tastes so good, I want to make it last for as long as I can. So those are the last things that I would say before, um, before really just being like, oh, this overall is like a perfect product and there is nothing uh, to grow. But of course, this company is super solid and I do anticipate them growing through all of these little um, details going forward. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So I hope you enjoyed what you see. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you check it out. And if you want to purchase this, which is launching November 18th, make sure you click the link below and tell all your friends about it. Thanks.